characters you've only heard about or read about. Uh, what's great about that is, you know, you've read about it with Lara or, or, or Samurai, you've never really, not really have seen them. That's what the part of the joy of the sick day. And another character that we've had really, you know where the next squad up until now is Zarek. So I'm going to talk to more chat about Zarek's now. There we go. Yeah, <laughs> Got you on there. Wave, yeah, it's hi. Hi. <laughs> so, have you seen anybody exciting that you've really enjoyed so today? You'll have loads of people stopping you, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> My first, I made all of this. Yeah. I'm so proud. I can't so. I had no pattern. I literally just had a blanket and I just started chopping. Hello. Cool. I didn't meet you properly when you were Oh, hi. Hey. I could see. Hey, I see. Hey, yeah. Amazing. Thanks. When we do the uh, cosplay award. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It I'm broke. So it broke. Man. I'm so it's it broke. Good. It got broken. Yes, I attacked the demon down there, and it broke off. So we've had to tape it well, together. That's, that's, that's what you get if you start picking fights, Phil. Yeah, I know. And I felt like a, a lesser god after that. I did. You know, it's like no, my staff broke. I am so impressed. Can you both stand together? Can the three of you stand together? Problem at all. Yeah. yeah. How was you? That's amazing. Hi. That's incredible. Sorry, I'm very hot. I'm overheating. That's in this. okay. Uh, hi. Moment. It's 566, and that was achieved by Vodafone in December 2011. I hate Vodafone. <laughs> Screw Vodafone. <laughs> okay, so what do we have to do to make this a legal, properly working record and that? Okay. Do you want a microphone? Thank you. That helps, that helps. Okay, the line is going to start with this gentleman here. Could you stand up? Okay. <laughs> So what we need you to do, does everyone have a Christmas cracker? Put your hand up if you don't. <laughs> okay, okay, is that everyone? Lovely. Okay, so what we need to do is this line, we need you to all, you're going to, the people seated, stay seated, crossing hands over like this, and joining your Christmas cracker to the next person. Be very, very careful while we'll crossing the right. So basically, you should be to the next Cross your hands. person. You're going behind. You're going to snake that way. So you're snaking. So when you get to the end, you're snaking with the guy behind you. Is this a good time to say that there's some pretty special things inside some of those crackers? Absolutely not the time to say that. Okay, I didn't say that. There's nothing special in them at all. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay. It's all at once, I'll explain it now. Okay, so now we have everyone in cross position, one continuous line. What will happen? The air horn will sound, you all break your Christmas cracker. Uh, you do not move your, from your spot until you hear the air, for, air horn blow twice. If you move before that air horn blows twice, the whole attempt of what we just did will be disqualified. It's <laughs> given to the record, so here we go. Okay. Shall we have a bit of a countdown? Make sure because we all want you to get this. The air horn will blow once. You all break your Christmas cracker. If it doesn't break, keep pulling it until it breaks, okay? We need everyone to have broken all of their Christmas crackers, okay? We're going to check that you've all broken it. Once you have, we'll blow the air horn twice. The attempt is over. Do not move until you hear that air horn blow twice. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Lovely. Here we go. Right then. Let's have a countdown from ten. Ten. 
Thank you. on candid camera <laughs> well here we are at london and we're just going to give you a rendition of runefest london <laughs> runescape london runescape london sorry <laughs> uh, they're all going to follow tracy come on, right click follow yes, right click sir. follow come on. come on i'm lagging give me a minute <laughs> there we go <laughs> ducks can somebody do stand on the heady moat? <laughs> <laughs> Nathan! <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Rest, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Turn up the music. <laughs> I'll put that on the video afterwards. <laughs> Smiling again. Well, here we are. We're packing things up, <laughs> ready to head off back home. And there's the little fella himself, the golden gnome. But you know what they say, there's no place like gnome. <laughs> so we should be back home later today. Back gnome later. <laughs> we'll be back gnome yeah, later, yes. <laughs> so uh, we'll catch you all back online in the next few days, no doubt. And uh, here's James. Hello. And Juki. Hello. <laughs> oh, look, concept art. <laughs> and this is the packing up of the Sarah Doming staff. And oh, just one other thing I should show you folks as well. If I can find it, I've just put it back in the bag here. Uh, there's a little thing in. Here, where's it gone? There we go, there we go. Look at this. this, this is really interesting, this is. You might be surprised at this one, but look. Yep, that's right. An all expenses paid trip to Jagex Studios. That's just topped it all off, hasn't it? A golden gnome and a trip to Jagex. Thanks guys, catch you soon. Really. Hello. Yeah, that's all right. I understand. PPI protection. Oh yes, they're terrible, aren't they? Oh. <laughs> oh, look at that Duke. He has a dodge. folks it's rodeo wn here we're on our way back to heathrow airport now sadly uh, we've had a great time at room fest and uh, we're coming away with a golden gnome award and a trip to jagex for me so uh, that's been my highlight of the journey uh, what's been yours duke uh other half here um the highlight, I don't know, I think it's just the whole meeting everyone, talking to people, getting to know these people we've spoken to for so many years, uh, people like James, his girlfriend and everyone, people like Sean, uh, all these people we've talked to, it's just been amazing meeting everyone finally, so I think that's my highlight. So, are, are you actually feeling sad that you're now going oh, home? Definitely. Disappointed? Yep. I want more time with everyone. <laughs> yeah, so do I. Yeah. It's been a really brilliant time, thoroughly enjoyed it, and uh, ho been? hopefully there'll be a room fest next year as well. Yeah. 
I'm going to say one thing as well, it's not even just the, it's the RuneFest, it's the main uh, meeting the people, the talking to the people, the developers and everything through it, it's the event stands. Yes, there was the night before uh, event and yeah. the day after event which was very good as well because that's the time that we got to chat about things and chat about the game and that and in the hotel that we were staying in there was a lot of the moderators from the game that were there which was nice to talk to those. Yeah, uh, getting, getting leaks from drunken mods, that was always good. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's amazing what a few pints of beer can do when you to get the tongues talking. Hey, Chris, I'll buy you a pint. What's that with any boss? <laughs> <laughs> so we'll catch up with you later guys. Bye for now. Cheers. And we're now at Heathrow Airport and ready to go through departures and get on our flight back home to Newcastle. I'll just give you a quick look around. <laughs> I thought you had to think that you were there.